talking about the uh, second overtime. Uh, they get the two threes early. You match them with twos, but it looked like they finally, for the first time in the game, had, had taken a little bit of control. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, it was a point in time where you know we just kind of put out, took our foot off the gas. I mean, credit to them though. I, honestly, I don't think that was the case. Credit to them. They came came back with a, a game plan to to go against our defense, and, and, and they executed. And uh, their guys hit a lot of big shots, and we didn't. And down down the uh, stretch of the second half, we didn't hit shots. Uh, they did a great job on me and McCall, and uh, but we we was able to hit shots late to keep us in it. But I mean, at, at, we shouldn't have been in that situation. But you know, but uh, yeah. So we just fell short again. It, it looked like you mentioned that they kind of put together a game plan or a, a plan there in the, the second overtime. It looked like there was a lot of game plans that are a lot of strategy involved in this game. Yeah. Talk about yeah. that. I mean, because I mean, you guys jump out early, then they come back. It just seemed like that there was there's a lot going on. Yeah, I, I, I believe that uh, they they just stayed the course, and their game plan was when we blitz, you know. Uh, be strong with the ball. It looked like they just like be strong with the ball, hit the open guy, and they they were just throwing it to the skip man easily. You know, they was just like hoping they get it. I mean, we forced 31 turnovers, so mm -hmm. I mean, so it, it, it's like it, it's a hit or miss. We just really got to finish that game. Was there any temptation of getting overconfident early when you had the big huge lead and they they just weren't shooting the ball well? Uh. Nah, I don't think we were overconfident. I think that uh, we just didn't make shots. I think that uh, we were we were consu we were consumed in us not getting calls, but that wasn't even the rest fault. I mean, we just we got to go a little bit stronger. You know, uh, I know these guys are gonna put the work in in the off season. We got a great strength coach, and uh, we're gonna get it done. So I mean, I I know that them guys are ready after this loss. They ready for next year, man. I just wish we could have kept playing. Yeah, talk about that big picture. I mean. From ten wins in the last two years, and mm. then finish like this this year in the, in yeah. the postseason tournament. Yeah, um, we know we we never won a postseason game, and I thought today would be the day. I love making history, and I thought we would today. But uh, you know, to be honest with you, you know, it, it wasn't in God's plan, and uh, God got a, a better plan for this school and this university, and and God will will make it happen for this school. But one thing I want to lead the fans with. Uh, to understand that we were, we did win 10 games in the last two years. That's double the production this year. And uh, to stay with us, you know, he, he, I'm still a Tiger for the rest of my life, no matter what, no matter if I, I'm here or not. And uh, I just want them to stay with us because next year them boys going to be ready. And Coach Ford going to go to work, Coach Pierre Jordan, Coach Randy Pill, you know, Coach James and Coach Hamilton. They, they all going to go to work for us and uh, go recruit. And we're going to be ready. And uh, I just want the fans to know, like, we working hard for you guys. Stick with us and, and stay the course. Yeah, best is yet to come.